It's back. At the beginning of 2023, Devon and Cornwall Firearms Licensing looked like it was getting its act together. Now, local shooters say the fiasco with the firearms licensing has fled up again. They say the force is chronically behind on renewals. Multiple shooters across the two counties who have been on temporary Section 7 tickets for more than a year now can't buy ammunition. And it's killing the industry. Variations are a big part of our business. And uh, the rifle sales, some, a new rifle come out and people um, want it and it's, it's not happening. I thought we were moving forward six months ago and, and now we're moving backwards and it's not helping the industry at all. I think it's slowly, it's death by a thousand cuts. Hopefully it will get better. We are seeing a few grants come through now. Renewals are slowly coming through, but it's still very, very slow. I fully understand that checks got to be done, medical uh, history needs to be looked at. There's no, no issue with that, but it's the variations is my biggest gripe. Uh, simple variations, one for one variations taking three months. Uh, to me, there's, there's no reason why it should or why it is. Merely a variation that is starting to slip into such long grass is a signal that this particular police force is still failing. We've seen it fail, it was failing before the Kiam tragedy and it seems to have got a lot worse. There, there can be no excuse for variations that take a long time and in this case I think it's really worrying that they seem to be getting worse rather than better. You would hope that the largest police force, when it comes to firearms and shotgun certificates, with the largest amount of staff, would do better than this, but apparently not. Field Sports News has highlighted the stories of shooters all over the southwest and how many of them get their guns back. Nigel Doney, who lives in Cornwall, has been shooting for 40 years. He had an unexpected police visit in February 2021 after he sold one of his guns. Nigel says that officers took his remaining gun because he couldn't produce his certificate. It was a way being processed by the police. Despite dozens of calls and emails, he hasn't been able to get them back. It rang numerous times um, and we always seem to get fobbed off and, and don't go to the right department. I don't know who we speak to, there's always something different. And um, in the end, well, the last one I rang, I said, um, you know, how do I know it's, it's getting to the appropriate place? Or will we email one? I said, well, that's all right. I said, but can I have a copy of the email so that I can fall back on? And basically, I haven't heard anything since. I had the, had the email come through on my phone, um, but other than that, that's it. It's not only me, I'm letting down people that I, I shoot alongside, um, farmers, um, you know, lamb and season, fox and whatever. Um, I cancelled a couple of trips last year. Uh, a couple of my mates decided they wanted to go up to um, Cambridgeshire after their Chinese water deer. Um, and they asked me if I would like to come, and I said, yeah. And then I had to pull out because obviously they took the guns. No point going without a gun. Firearms licensing issues in Devon and Cornwall have been in the spotlight since the shootings in Plymouth in 2021, when five people died. The jury heard that the mass shooter, Jake Davison, had a history of violence. Despite this, the police granted him a certificate. The inquest jury said catastrophic failures within Devon and Cornwall's firearms licensing unit led to an unsafe culture and the force had failed to protect the victims and the wider public. The jury made recommendations, including calling for the shotgun certificate to be scrapped and shotguns to go on firearms certificates. BASC expects a full consultation on firearms licensing to be announced by the government in the near future. At the same time as the Minister makes a statement in Parliament, he will launch a consultation into firearms licensing. And we don't know what's in that, but we know it's going to be driven by some of the coroner's comments in his Regulation 28 reports and also by other things that are 
in the mix separately within the world of firearms licensing. In the meantime, Devon and Cornwall Police has been conducting its own crackdown on legal gun ownership. A Freedom of Information request from Basque in March 2022 revealed during the last three months of 2021, Devon and Cornwall Police revoked 54 shotgun licenses. That's more than nine times higher than usual. Basque says the firearms licensing across England and Wales is still a postcode lottery. I'm sorry to say that in terms of firearms licensing in England and Wales, that it's same old, same old, with huge variation. At one end of the spectrum, you have forces like Warwickshire Police who provide a wonderful service to their certificate holder customers and really look after them. They're not only efficient, but they do things properly to the book and they are really, really, very good. At the other end of the spectrum, you get, say, somewhere like Cumbria, which can only be described as a failing police force when it comes to firearms licensing. There's this huge amount of regional variation, which effectively makes firearms licensing in England and Wales a postcode lottery for certificate holders. Most of the people that do proper pest control are not full-time pest controllers and they're not farmers. They're everybody else, whether they're, they're plumbers, electricians, builders, people that finish work at four or five o'clock, then go out and shoot pigeons over, uh, over the drillings and so on. And it's people like that that need, need the guns. Um, some farmers, you know, I mean, I'm a farmer as well. Some of my, my farming friends, are, you know, they've got fields and fields of rooks and crows because people can't shoot them because they haven't got they haven't got their guns. For Nigel the appeals process is too costly but he's determined not to give up. I just enjoy going out whether I shot anything or no. It's just nice just to get out in the countryside, walk around. If I had a chance of something that was in season and I was allowed to take a shot then that would happen but obviously not now. Um, can't seem to do nothing. I went out with my mate overnight and I felt really out of place because he, he was uh, carrying his and I was just walking around with a uh, night fishing light and I thought, oh, this is boring. We approached Devon and Cornwall Police for an interview or a comment on the current situation. They issued this statement. We acknowledge that we are still experiencing delays in our firearms department, causing frustration to our communities. However, due to improvements being made, we have seen a decline in our outstanding workload.